Alright, what is up, you guys? This is HHN or Horsehead Nation, or uh, you know, as known as Justin V. So I'm um, back at it with another video today, and um, today I'm gonna do a video where I'm gonna show you guys my 4K movie collection, and we we'll do a quick review on it. So you can make it a quick video, or um, I mean, we'll see. Maybe, maybe at least up to 10 minutes, maybe longer. Who knows? Maybe shorter. We'll see. And um, these movies I accumul accumulated within the span of a month, maybe a little more than a month. So I got five movies here on 4K that i definitely super excited to show you guys. I, I had just got two of them in the mail just yesterday in the afternoon. So definitely excited to um, review those. So let's get right to it. Um, first movie I got here is I got Wonder Woman on 4K. A friend of mine gave me this I think like a month or two ago. It was around the same time that I got uh, the Godfather trilogy on Blu-ray. And um, I decided not to review this one in my other video because um, it was the only 4K movie I had. And I thought maybe I'd just dedicate that last video to only standard Blu-rays. And if I had gotten more 4Ks, which I did, I would make a video only dedicated to that only 4K, only 4K collections. So, um, yeah, first I got Wonder Woman. A um, friend of mine got me this on Best Buy. Really nice of him. Kudos to him. So, you got the front cover. You got two Amazonians, and um, you got Wonder Woman, you got Steve Trevor, it's really cool. It's got the little HDR logo. Turn it to the back, picture of Wonder Woman, you got Steve, um, you got Wonder Woman of course, and then, um, you know, shot of Amazonians. And then it says that I think two hours of like bonus content, two, more than two hours of bonus content. And then of course, like any 4K movie, it says right here, you need the 4K setup, you need a 4K TV, you need a 4K Ultra HD, um, 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player, and uh, the HDM, a high-speed HDMI cable. So if you do not have any of these, you cannot um, get the full 4K experience, sadly. Um, but, um, you know, if you got the money and you can buy it, I definitely, you know, definitely go for it. It's really worth it once you have the setup. 4K is amazing. So of course, um, you got the digital code. I um, I already redeemed it. So you know, if you try redeeming, good luck. I basically redeemed all my digital codes already. So I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't do a 4K. I didn't do like a giveaway. So here, here, you got the standard Blu-ray of Wonder Woman, and then over here, the white one. You got the um, you got the 4K disc of Wonder Woman, and um, I just wanna I just wanna point out that if you guys hear any noise of like the door. Uh, moving or something like that, I apologize, because this door in my closet moves a lot, and like my back is kind of against it, so sorry if I make noise, so again, you got the 4K disc, really cool, and then you got the standard Blu-ray, I have the, I also have the standard Blu-ray copy of Wonder Woman, um, you know, except that, you know, of course that one doesn't have the 4K, it's just the DVD, the Blu-ray, the standard Blu-ray, you know, the DVD, the standard Blu-ray, and the digital code, so, um, yeah, um, that's, that's Wonder Woman right there. Next up on my list, I got, I just picked this up like a month ago. Definitely was super excited. I have this already on Blu-ray, but I definitely wanted to get this on 4K. Because if, um, but, you know, because I did a review of this last year. Gave away the digital code in a giveaway. And, um, I, again, I wanted the code and I definitely wanted 4K. And of course, Bumblebee bought that again. Uh, I say it definitely was worth buying again. I wanted the, I really wanted it on 4K this time, and this time I redeemed the digital code. And um, again, you know, I, I really love these movies. I really love Bumblebee. I thought it was amazing. So you know, you got slipcover, really nice. It's all glossy, shiny. Of course, you got the HDR. And then right here it says action packed and exciting. It's by uh, Scott Scott Mans Collider uh, from Collider. And then you know, really nice. You got the side, you got the sides, you know, it says 4K, it says Blu-ray. Oh yeah, and I didn't do that for Wonder Woman as well. My bad, you guys. So here's like the side for Wonder Woman. Really cool. Okay, but anyways, back to Bumblebee. So here's the back. Um, nothing different from the, you know, Blu-ray version. You got a picture of Bumblebee and Charlie on the top. You got Dropkick and Shadow. You got the Decepticons. Jorge Landerberg with um, Hayley Steinfeld. Uh, Memo and Charlie. You got a nice shot of Optimus Prime and Boom Beyond Cybertron. In the back, you could see Iron Eye. You know, even though he didn't really have like 
hardly any screen time. You got Bone Beat and Jeep mode from like the beginning, and you got a nice shot of um, John Cena, which is really cool. So, um, yeah. And then, of course, like all 4Ks, you know, it says that you need the 4K setup. You could redeem this on Voodoo or um, Paramount Movies or um, iTunes. And um, again, I know I forgot, like one Woman 2. Um, you could also have redeemed that code on Movies Anywhere, iTunes, pretty sure Ultraviolet. But again, um, heads up, Ultraviolet expired a year ago. Like, their um, service was discontinued. So, you know, sadly, you can't um, redeem movies on there anymore. And then, here, uh, same thing in the front, same thing in the back. Got the spine, really cool. Alright, so let's open this up. And here you got, you got the 4K of the movie. Not really any discard. Uh, Wonder Woman had more to it. And then of course right here it says, get the Transformers collection on 4K. Upgrade to the 4K collection. The box it. Definitely thought about buying that, but uh, I definitely didn't feel like spending 50 bucks on it. So I was like, heck no. And then of course you got the digital code, but already redeemed. So, you know, like I said before. And then you got the standard Blu-ray. And then you got the 4K. Uh, the blue, the, the special features are on the Blu-ray, not the 4K. Um, though, you know, I kind of wish maybe they could have put it on 4K too. But, um, you know, they did not. I don't know why. But whatever, it's cool. So, that's Bumblebee. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Uh, next up on my list, I got John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. Picked this up about, again, two, like, around the same time as I do with Bumblebee. I got this, like, two, three days earlier. Got this at Target. Got it for about 19 bucks. Cheap price. Really good price. And I got Bumblebee for 15 bucks. So, 4Ks, I really got these two for cheap. And usually a 4K, I think, will go around, maybe depending where you buy it from or wherever. It'd be, like, 30 bucks. But lately, with all my 4Ks, I've been getting them for, like, under 20, 20 bucks or, like, 20, under 20 or 20 or, like, $21. So, good deal. So I'm um, here. You got John Wick. You got him in the front. Again, nice glossy slipcover on 4K, and it's like really shiny, really cool. So there's the front. There's like the sides or whatever, and then um, you know, same same thing. We got the 4K logo, 4K Ultra Blu-ray, and then finally here's the back. You got a picture of John Wick. A few pictures of like movie scenes. Um, some of the information down here. Tells you the special features, the 4K, the Blu-ray, whatnot. Again, telling you you need the 4K setup. And then there you go if you want to, you know, so you try to read that. So again, pretty cool. So let's open it up. So again, you know, same thing in the, in the front. Same thing in the back. Same thing on the sides. You know, let's open it up. You got the digital code of um, John Wick. And heads up, if you want to buy, if you're buying, if you're thinking about buying John Wick, you can only redeem the digital code on Lionsgate uh, on the app. You can't redeem this on like Voodoo or iTunes or on the on the um, any other. I think it has to be on Lionsgate, the company like app. So um, again, here yeah, you got the 4K, you got the 4K disc, pretty cool, nice artwork to it to it. And then you got the standard Blu-ray right here. You got the standard Blu-ray. Really nice. Only thing I hate is the the Blu-ray disc logo on it. It kind of throws it off, like you know, the light blue. I think on 4K it's better. It's got like that, the you know, the black darkness to it. I I think that's better. You know, it's just how like the dark areas are kind of dark, so it's like having that Blu-ray logo kind of just ruins it. Like it stands out too much. So, anyways, that's John Wick. Let me just put this back in the slipcover. So, um, okay. So let's see. Next up, we got and just picked this up just yesterday. I mean, I got these on mail from Amazon just yesterday. So really excited to watch these later today or later in the weekend. Transformers: Dark of the Moon on 4K. Definitely wanted to buy this. This is my favorite Transformers movie, or at least one of them out of the saga. Um, Dark of the Moon definitely from the Bavers, because uh, you know I guess Bond movies are reboots, so I wouldn't consider that part of the saga really. But it's still a live action Transformers film, so regardless, I'll still kind of consider it whatever. You know, maybe not, not like in the same storyline as it's a new storytelling universe. It's a reboot. But from Bavers, uh, definitely Bo Dark of the Moon is my favorite. Really nice box art to it. You got Bumblebee on the front. Dark of the Moon is in yellow. 
colors to match Bumblebee. You know, you got like the darkness, the grayness, the yellow to like um, have them stand out or whatever. That's cool. And in the back, you got um, you got some pictures of Optimus, Shockwave, uh, one of the Dreads, I believe that is Hatchet from the freeway scene. And I can't really see it somewhere around here. You got Iron Hand. I think Bum will be up here. Can't really see from the glare. Oh no, that's uh, that's Nest actually, Nest. And I'm um, pretty interesting that they decided to go with this picture of Iron Hand because that's from Revenge of the Fallen, the second movie. And uh, you know, um, that's not actually a scene from Dark of the Moon. So of course, uh, this is the 4K. Um, you know, whatever Ultra HD, the Blu-ray disc. The, the, the Blu-ray is the standard Blu-ray disc, just has the movie, but then it comes with a bonus Blu-ray disc, disc that has the special features, which is pretty cool, and um, pretty funny that this says Ultraviolet, and like I said earlier, um, Ultraviolet closed their service about a year ago in the summer in July, so whatever movies you have on there, I believe they were they gave you the option where you could transfer them to another file, because that app discontinued, so you can no longer download it or look for it. But this, but I redeemed this on Voodoo, and um, little secret: if you buy a movie that has an expired digital code, you can still redeem that code on Voodoo, which is what I did with Dark of the Moon. The code said for the code for this one expired last year in December 2019, but I I um I I redeemed this in Voodoo. I hear it's a little thing that movie industries don't want you to know, so keep it on the hush hush. So, anyways, let's open it up. You can, oh, my bad. So you got the 4K disc for Dark of the Moon, got the digital code for Ultraviolet, again, I already redeemed it. So, then you got the standard Blu-ray disc with the, with the feature film, and then the Blu-ray special features. Um, I, I've never really seen all the special features for Dark of the Moon, I think I've only seen like one or two, so I'm super excited to watch them, I've never seen them. It's definitely one of the reasons why I got Dark of the Moon, I hear they're awesome. And then finally, next up, my last one, as well as I, I, I just got a 2 gesture with Dark of the Moon, I got Fury, Fury on 4K, one of my favorite war movies, um, definitely uh, with 1917 and Saving Private Ryan, definitely one of my favorite war movies, I saw this in cinemas back in 2014, um, it was really awesome, I enjoyed it, and uh, basically every movie I've showed so far, I, I've seen all of them in cinemas and theaters, Really cool, really awesome. Had a good, had a fun time. So then here, you got the front, 4K, 4K Ultra HD. You got the Blu-ray, and then you got the digital code. Um, what is it? The best, the best war movie from, from Saving Private Ryan and Splatoon. Oh yeah, since um, Private Ryan. And then you got the back. Shows some scenes. Tells you the 4K special features and the standard Blu-ray. Um, a few stuff on the 4K, but the, the standard Blu-ray has more special features, and then it tells you the HDR, you know, the player, and needing the TV, and whatnot. And you got a nice picture of the tank crew, with a description, of course, of the movie, synopsis, like a summary. And then, um, of course, here's the spine. And again, I know I keep forgetting, but here's the one for Dark of the Moon. <laughs> um, here's it for Dark of the Moon, that's the, that's the side. <laughs> I keep forgetting, but, um, you know. Uh, trying to show you guys everything that these movies have to offer. Alright, so I'll open it up. You got you got the digital code for Fury. I already redeemed it on Voodoo. I mean, not Voodoo, I mean uh, movies anyway. So, again, like I keep saying, many times I've redeemed the digital codes already. And um, if you're thinking about picking this up, the digital code, I believe, expires on the 30th. I mean, the 31st of December, so basically like New Year's Eve. So if you want to pick this up and have the digital code like buy this as soon as possible but as always always i think you could redeem it on voodoo if it expires so all is good and then you got the 4k you got the 4k copy not much box not much um what is it um i, I forgot the name the uh, bo um whatever discard discard not much to it and then remove the paper you got the blu-ray the standard blu-ray all the special features that the disc that contains the special features i think all of them so there you go. Not much, not much discard to it, but um, still pretty cool. I mean, I mean, really, who cares about discard? I guess. I mean, you know, it'd be nice, but eh, who cares? You know, it's it's the movie that that is really like important that matters the most.
But, um, yeah, I definitely wish for most of all these movies, um, they did have some discard. Like, uh, Wonder Woman had it, John Wick had it, um, basically almost everyone, Fury, Dark of the Moon, Bumblebee, um, didn't really have anything Wonder Woman did, which was, um, was pretty decent, it was pretty cool. And, um, yeah, there you go, there you guys have it, that's my 4K movie collection, that's my movie collection on 4K. I have five movies. I have five movies on 4K. Uh, definitely want to pick up more. Definitely want to buy more. But um, I think for now I might take a break from buying movies. I have way too many, so I try to try to save my money. Maybe perhaps on when they there's like a deal. Maybe like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, or whatever the whatever the heck. So um, there you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. That's my 4K movie. Uh, my 4K Ultra HD movie collection review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Put a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you really enjoyed this video. You know, any kind of feedback. Um, any kind of feedback is, um, what is it, you know, and, uh, trying to remember. Um, dang, I, I, yeah, I can't really remember. But, um, yeah, whatever, whatever you want to do, whatever you feel like doing. Subscribe, comment, like, whatever. You know, any kind of feedback is appreciated. Oh yeah, there it is. Appreciate it. Any kind of feedback is appreciated from you guys. Again, like I keep saying, it only helped me improve on my content. Um, and you know, comment down what else you guys would like me to do on this channel. Uh, I'm definitely up for doing more movie reviews. Um, I would love to do more horseman skits, but likely, but unfortunately, I don't know where my mask is, so I, I can't find it. But um, yeah, uh, it bums me out. It's like the heart and soul of this channel, so I'll try to look for it. But yeah, I definitely would like to do more movie reviews. Put a thumbs up if you want more. Comment down your favorite movie below. What do you like about it? You know, anything you want to comment about. Whatever you want to comment. Can't wait to see what you guys think. So, anyways, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.